what did we do yesterday? Hmm. Hmm, only that thing, na? See, JavaScript now we have to be like very good at only then we'll be able to use this lightning component properly because lightning is completely based on JavaScript only okay so we have to check out other things also did you try some examples mm -hmm. from there did you have any difficulty or anything mm -hmm. okay 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 So this one we did. Okay. So inner HTML you got now. What is inner HTML? Okay. Get element by ID. So that is, that should be fine. Okay. Okay. Inner HTML is the content of that particular paragraph or HTML or H1 whatever it is. Okay. So these things we did, okay. For, so style also we can change. That is not a big deal, okay. Like here, let's say we will mouse in mouse on alert handle click. Lightning component is this one, okay. Let's say H1 click me. What else is there? We'll create one paragraph, okay? Uh, so we'll call it as para, okay? Uh, change font on click something, or maybe change font size on click, okay? So we can grab this particular paragraph with this ID, okay? Because that is the unique thing in this. So everyone, every every component should have a unique ID, okay? So this one we can grab using this para ID, okay? Okay. So wherever we want, we can write. Uh, let's say which function we want. Uh, on click of this button is there. Okay, fine. We'll create another button here. No problem. We'll just create one button type equals to or we'll use lightning only. Okay. Yeah, we'll use lightning button and then label is equal to we'll use let's say uh, font something. Then we use variant is not required. One click equals to we'll use the same thing c dot and we'll let's say font we'll create another method font change okay okay we will just take this okay, and we we'll go to the controller and we'll just create another method here you can just take this signature from here to here we'll just put one colon and we put okay and this in this we can handle that okay now font change let's say we just want to get the document dot get element by id and we need the id also so id was uh, para okay dot style dot font hmm. so font size equals to We'll change it to let's say 45 pixel. I guess it's pixel. Yes, pixel. Okay, let's try this. So, fail to save lightning con or line number 28 mouse over source. Number 28. Oh, we've missed this comma from here. So, initially. Okay, so this method is all created. Document element this, and we'll change the font size to just increase the font size. Okay, so on click is this, and we'll just save it. 
now when we go to preview so we go to our application and we go to preview okay so in this preview we have uh, we should have some font oops okay 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 which one is the mouse over so something is the mouse over the Hmm. On mouse over, we'll just make it maybe on click. And to define. So whatever is on mouse over, or maybe we'll comment it only. So we'll put one comment here. Okay. On mouse over, well, that's fine. <coughs> okay. Oh, in the application, this one. We are testing testing lightning application. Oh, okay, okay. You have commented this one. Okay. So this is something like it will happen. So you can control the style also. Okay. So what you can do is you can just go and try all these things. Okay. Then you will get a hang of it. <coughs> and then style if you want to display something or if you want to hide something. Then you can make it as none or you want to make it as block. Okay. So you can make some button like you will have uh, you will have instances in, like this. That uh, maybe you want to show, show some component once. And when you go to other part, then you have to hide it. Something like that. Like it will be like uh, you'll have a drop down. Okay. When you click on the drop down, you are showing some component. And when you click on that drop down again, it will be like hiding that component. It's like it's called accordion. It is. It looks something like this. See, it will look something like like this this is one section in the end of the section you have one drop down like this when you click on this so a list or hamburger component will display hamburger component is is like one one on top of the other so in us uh, it's like it's like a table only okay so when you click on this this thing this section will be displayed and when you click on this back this will again go back so in these kind of situations you will use like hide show Okay, if you are creating with HTML, if you create with lighting, then you have separate SLDs already created. You can use that. We'll see that SLDs. Okay. Okay. So here just style dot display. You have to make it as none, and you have to make it as block. Here you can uh, let's say change the size. So here you can just create one lighting button here. We'll just quickly create one button. One other button. We'll call it as let's say we call it as hide. And this one we can call it as let's say show. Okay, so this will call it as hide, and this will call it as show. Okay, now we have to handle this. We can handle it in the same button. These these uh, these functions also, like this function also, we can handle it. Okay, we can handle the same thing. It just depends how you are using it. Okay, so as of now we'll just create two more fun functions here. Okay. So one we'll call it as, and we can call it as hide, let's say, and this one we'll call it as show, okay. And dot style dot uh, display equals to we can just change it to none, okay. And this we can display equals to block, okay. So this will make it as display. Okay, so this is already saved. Now when we go to our lightning, this one you are using, na? no, 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 this one. Hmm. 
Okay, so we can close this one out. Close this one out. This one is refreshed. So when you click on like let's say hide, so it will hide that. And when you click on show, it will show that. So like that. Okay, it it will be something like let me show you. Okay, fine. That we'll see later. Okay. 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 So still we are in HTML only. These things are like grabbing things by HTML. Okay, and these are not the lightning parts. Okay, let's say if we go next. These functions you have to remember, like get element by ID, and you have get element by class also. Okay. And what else? This is same thing, same thing, same thing. Almost the same thing. I don't know where the paragraph changed. You can change the content also. All those things. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this you can explore. Okay, output syntax, go to functions. Okay, all these things you explore. Okay, okay. Today we'll see a little bit about SLDS. Okay. Okay. We have something called Salesforce Lightning Design System. So the Lightning Design System is something in which they have created lots of CSS and lots of designs. Okay, that you can use and incorporate in your uh, program or in, in in a component you can use it easily okay so all you have to do see usually you know class right like you know CSS nah? okay let's say in CSS if we have something like let's say oops you have something like uh, let's say dot this okay you create another class uh, let's say dot para or something okay so okay paragraph you create one class Okay, in this you have some background color as let's say uh, pink or something or let's say orange you have. Okay, orange you have and let's say color you have as uh, let's say blue. Okay, so this kind of setting you have already made somewhere. Okay, and when you want to in, uh, use this in your component, then how will you use it? You just use this name of the class. So this is a class that you have created. Okay, so this paragraph we'll just use in our lightning component. Okay. Sorry. Class is equal to the paragraph. Ha, class is equal to paragraph. That's it. So in whichever paragraph you want to use, you can use it. Let's say here, if you want to use it here. <coughs> so here we can just write as class equals to paragraph. Okay. and when you save it okay now this whatever changes in the class that you have done here in the uh, in the style component okay that style will be applied to that okay if you make change something in this at the top then it will be applied to your whole component this is the common one but this is like a separate class you are creating okay and so now if we go here refresh we'll have a background color or something here okay so what i'm trying to show is that using the class keyword okay using the class keyword here you are using some kind of style changes okay so similarly slds is also style changes only there are lots of style changes that they have made they've created some border they have created some buttons they have created some font size all that if you want to use in your in inside your component you can just use the class name okay and automatically it will be incorporated and how you can use it that we'll see okay <coughs> Let's say we have SLDS mm, icon only. We'll see first. Okay. See if you see on the left side section, okay, you have lots of utilities here. Okay, like borders is there. Okay, box is there. Okay, it will come on second. So if you want to, let's say normally if you want to make a border or something in your HTML, okay, then how you'll have to do, you'll have to go make border, you have to fix the pixel, how, what is the width of this particular border, what is the color of this border, how long it should be, all that you have to fix, okay, but here you don't have to do anything, you just have to use class SLDS box, that's it, and your paragraph will have this border already created, so you just have to, this you don't need to remember or anything, but this you just, uh, you can, you you just need to know where to find it okay
okay so just using the class name you can use it easily so just take this thing and let's say we want to make it on some other paragraph or something that we have created if you want we'll id is equal to demo only or we'll create another paragraph not a problem okay we'll create one paragraph we should remove the id part so here we can use class equals to it should be slds hyphen border only i think box okay so this box you have used now whatever uh, this is to test slds something okay and that you have created so the class is coming directly from salesforce lightning design system okay no 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 not really. it's auto wired this is not auto wired actually but this is saved in salesforce database so like it's like custom styles they have already created and they have saved it okay so if you just use it then it will automatically come in your component okay so you'll have a box here so if you see you have one border I, i'm not sure which one oh this one the test sld so this one is having one border there okay because this is like too close we are not able to see the end part so we'll just remove this class equals to paragraph we'll remove or uh, yeah we'll remove just this part okay So this border is coming here okay like that there are other things also which is there see border is there okay so this border top will come huh, something like this top right bottom left okay so wherever border you want there are lots of lightning components like uh, when you go to our lightning home okay see border is there at the top okay like this if you want to create something then you can use this you can create this on your CSS also. You can create by your own uh, styling also, but it's easier to use it that way. You just have to use the class name and it will come easy. Okay. <clears throat> like when the tab is cl clicked in that case, you want to make a border at the top. Okay, something like that. Then you can use that. Apart from that, you have box and then you have description list and floats, grid, what else you can see. Okay. Like what? Add huh, icon is different icon is is like a image okay so this is not a styling okay it's like something that they have already created and they have saved it's like these are images only some pixel images only and this if images if you want to use then you have to use the icons okay but these platform these are the styling that they have created okay like uh, where did we go Then what else we have? Let's say so even the components, components they have created something like let's say card. Okay. So it will appear like card. Okay, if you go to our Salesforce, why is it not loading here? So the contacts and the accounts they'll come in form of this. It will come in form of this card only. You will have one icon here and you will have the header and you will have the body. So if you want you can have, have some footer, footer also. If you want you can add some button also. Okay like that. So that is created in this format. Okay you just have to use this. Okay if you use SLDS card then it will come in the form of card. And then after that you can put some header. Okay then you have to give if you want to give some uh, image or something then you can use SLDS media figure okay like that and you don't worry about this SVG and all as of now okay and if you want some uh, other container in that so whatever ev every section has a style so every section has a class so all this class uses this particular section so to have this in by default you just use SLDS card okay now after that the subsection is the header so if you want to use header then you have to use SLDS card underscore underscore header and this is another one which is like making a grid okay so all this styling you can use okay okay and if you want to use some kind of link or something then href is there so you can like small heading if you want to give or if you want to give another button slds button you can add inside 
okay so you can make like a like a uh, what you call a digital card or something okay and you can have different different components okay as of now these things that we are creating is static only but later we will be like contacting apex and using apex we will be retrieving lots of records using that we will use card only okay like that we'll do okay and then there's something called accordion so accordion is it's like another component it is it it will look like this okay when you click on this one exp it will be expanding okay when you click on this it will be expanding like this okay so like section so it will have arrows when you click on this it will come down and when you click on the back it will go up like this so that also that kind of styling also they have already created you just have to use the class okay just use that class automatically that functionality will come okay then you have alert also and let's say if you if you're trying to show some kind of pop-up alert okay then see some uh, pop-up message if you want to uh, when you let's say in one situation if you're a system admin and then you try to log in as somebody else okay you try to log in as somebody else you will at the top you will see that you are logged in as that particular person so that is like a pop-up alert only so if that kind of alert if you want to use then this styling you don't have to create your own you just use the class whatever class is given see notify that class and these alerts you have to use so automatically your your thing will be customized using this okay so there are different states also you can change the states if you want to give some kind of let's say warning okay or some error you want to see you want to show that something so all this color change and this icon change all this you don't have to do yourself okay automatically it will be there okay and you can use it okay or if uh, let's say if you want to add some images in a particular uh, in a particular styling so you have some rounded borders are there okay in this you can put some image okay so if you have static resource image saved that image resource you can give here and just you have to use sld's avatar that's it so give class is equal to sld's avatar inside that images so once we see images then we will see okay then you have badges okay Yeah. Yeah. Go to accordion once again. That day we had a problem with iframe, no? Huh. We by that I think that we can resolve in accordion maybe. Like this only. We use three iframes. Mm -hmm. For first iframe we had uh, header and uh, sidebar. Okay. That time it's working fine for the first. Mm -hmm. If the same thing done done with the second, links are not working. Mm -hmm. So you can try this accordion also. Yes, maybe it will work. I think. Mm. Okay. And here SVG is there, na? Hmm. SVG, SVG and all that is for graphics, right? Yeah, that is for static resources mostly that you can load in the SVG. So in the component mm. also you have one SVG file here, right? So in this SVG, yes. when you create this SVG, okay, you will be loading those SVG here, and then you can use that yes. component inside. As per, I mean, in UI part, we use SVG that uh, icons. Hmm. Why? Because if you make it small, also clarity will not go. It will be same. If you make it big, bigger size, also it will be like it only, like thumb, hmm. phone. That same icons will use now. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That. Okay, okay. Okay, so you have buttons also. So this styling, let's say if you go to buttons here. So by default, the Salesforce or the what you call HTML button will be like very normal. If you see here, uh, here we have created some buttons. Nah? Like these are buttons. So in this button, if you want to put some styling, like you want to use HTML button only. In this in that button, if you want to put some styling, then you can do. These are all lightning buttons. Nah? So if in HTML buttons only, if you want to use some styling, then you can do. Okay. So we just have to use this class is equal to SLDS button. Okay. So let's say if you want to change it a little bit. So if you want to make it look like this, okay, then you have to use these things. Okay, like SLDS button is there, then stateful you have to use. Okay. Like that. Or oh, SLDS is not selected. Or if you want to make so in like uh, our 
our button here okay we have variant right variant inverse variant uh, so all those variants are here also like variant inverse is there brand is there neutral is there destructive success yesterday we used all these things now nah? so this will just change the look and feel of that okay okay so these things if you do then here they have used some kind of variant like inverse is there now nah? so they must have used some inverse here to look the, look at that button okay like button text not selected sld okay so this you try okay all these things you try the changes okay and you let me know okay okay and then cards like check boxes so this is these things that you can use you can use on the uh, normal HTML components okay like in uh, in in normal component also you have HTML so in that if you want to give some styling then you can use so there is something called breadcrumbs so if you want to make like navigation like this okay so all those things you can use you can you want to make some button groups there are lots of other things also okay okay where is that button group okay so in you can just like uh, here we have two three buttons we have created now so just like you have one but two buttons here on and off buttons are there so we can make it inside one button group okay we can just make it as a let's say we can call it as a div here okay and we can just put it inside a div and inside this div we just need one class so that class is equal to SLDS button group and we just copy this whole thing from here to here okay copy it here that's it and in the button if you want we can use this class also okay that is it so type of button on click here we'll use this class here we'll use this class okay now this will look like one button group So now it look the look and feel is like lightning okay so it is not looking like a normal button and and if you see these two are connected in between okay so it is looking like one group of buttons okay so like that okay so similarly you can use other things also okay like then what else is there color picker there are lots of things that they have created so usually these things you'll have to create using javascript or you have to use uh, css to create these styling okay but here they have already created so it's like color picker and all so there are lots of components that they have created that you can use like combo box okay, like search box data table feeds files icons cup menu so many things no not the total code but you have to use wherever the, the class and styling that you have used now nah? that you have to SVG thing that you can just exclude SVG is uh, is like see the path is given now nah? so this path is like is they have uh, saved some kind of static resource like some image or something they have used so if you have to use that you cannot use it from the computer you have to upload it somewhere so that path they have specified here okay ha huh, like that okay okay and then there are utilities like boxes floats layouts like layouts you can create padding okay like border top all those things that you can create so usually you have border top in our HTML also but that that look and feel is more like this one is looking like it's HTML uh, it's uh, like lightning look and feel okay okay and then you have themes also Okay. 
Ah, uh, kind of. <clears throat> and we are minimizing all the effort that we put in the, you know, styling and all. Yes, important, we have to touch the ego again. Yeah. 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 No, we only have to do. There's no separate people for UI and no separate people for like other parts. Yeah, project, uh, portal project work. Right? Huh. So there's no one. This one week in that project. Uh huh. Oh, if that is like a maybe, is that a Java project or something? Salesforce, Salesforce only. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, those, so that are like console apps. Yeah, console apps. Ah, uh -huh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm certain they give some work for me. I was like, oh yeah. That's okay, you can try, no problem. If you have any issues, you can let me know. Okay, okay. so using these, uh, just try this as LDS, okay? Try all the icons also, if you have icons also here. So you got to know now how to use this icon. How do you use this icon? See this icon? <laughs> See, like buttons, na? like lightning button you have, you have a namespace for lightning icon also. Okay, so that lightning, uh, lightning icon you can create. Okay, so you can just go for lightning icon. Okay, you have you have a namespace like that, so you can use something like a lightning okay icon. Okay, and here you have to give the size of that icon. Okay, size is equal to small, medium, or large. Let's say we'll put it as medium only, and then you have to give the icon name. Okay, icon name equals to you have to give the icon name. So icon name you will give according to the section so there are five sections here okay so let's say if you want to pick this uh, standard icon okay and let's say if you want to uh, use this bot icon so then you have to use standard colon bot okay so you have to use like a stand or we can just copy this thing standard so we can use standard and then you put colon and then we have a bot okay and then we can close this okay if you don't remember this that is fine <clears throat> because there are lots of new things that they have incorporated okay so that you can use okay so if you want to check the syntax you can go to the developer uh, documentation and you can check the syntax that's not a problem okay so you just have to give the lightning icon so this lightning lightning uh, namespace only in that you just have uh, like just just button just like button you have icon also you give the icon name and this action is nothing but the section okay like action inside action they are using this button what is the button approval button so they are using approval button this button they are using okay so like that and then size they have to give and then alternate text is like some text hint or something okay so that is fine okay so now if we go ahead and if we try to save it and then if we try to refresh our org so here we'll see one icon okay, so one bot icon is there so if you want you can make it clickable also and you, if you want you can make it as a button or something also okay that is also possible or if you want you, there is separate for lightning button uh, for uh, lightning icon button also okay that also you can use okay Okay, you have something called icon button also. So lightning namespace also have lots of other things that you can see. Okay. So you can see this lightning button you have to check. Just change it to button icon and same icon name. So whatever icon name is, the first is the section. Second is the name of the icon. Okay, and then you can make it as on click or something. Okay, so you can use it for an on click also. Okay, so if you want to use, then you can just uh, put another, let's say, lightning, and then you can put icon button, 
and then you can size is by default will take so not a problem so we'll use the icon name icon name equals to let's see which icon we want uh, so this one they have used something like that so we can use action approval so inside this we can use action approval okay and then on click we can use on click we can use uh, anything that we already have created let's say hide or show okay or let's we'll put a font change only So we will put C dot the name of the function and then we'll close this. Okay. Now we'll have an icon button also. Markup lightning icon on spelling mistake added. G H T N I N G. Okay. Then there is another spelling mistake somewhere. G H T icon name. Icon button. Okay. Fail to save this. No component name. Lightning. Icon button found. Oh, sorry. Button icon. Button. So you can try any of the buttons and you can change the sizes also okay and you can utilize so usually uh, in the requirements also they'll change the color also like which color you want or something so that we'll uh, we can fill using the CSS yeah, uh, because they will send you screens and all now. according to that screens you have to develop the functionality okay, like that what has happened to this load component fail to initialize application internal server record something or a load component is some kind of issue with this or only we'll see okay go to our is some kind of internal error that is happening Login now. What is your ID? Correct, na? Uh. Okay. okay. Server reward the center server error. Font change. I 
action. <coughs> so you can font change. This looks fine. Then why is it creating a problem? Something I can button I can name utility close variant is equal to this. On a click equals to this. Equal font size is fine. Action approval. Icon name. Let's say button icon icon name. On click equals to this. Let's say variant also will put. It equals to. We have bear. Okay. I think this button only is creating some problem. Lightning button. I gave it as name is equal to name. It was not taking it. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, it does not specify what is the actual error, na? That is another problem. Uh, button icon. Okay, fine. We'll see this later only. So apart from that whatever design tokens are also there so try to use this okay so you don't have to do much just change the style okay and just use class and you will be able to use it okay so try to use all these things okay and then we'll see okay okay and i think in this style component whatever is there this in this is not also very so you can go to the javascript and you can go to css also and you can try to use this css like background color is there text alignment is there all these things like this they are creating paragraph na like they are creating one h1 body all this thing so they are creating different different classes so just like that you can create another class here okay so whenever you create one class so you just write dot and you write this okay then give one space and then you put one dot and you give the name of that particular so the first one that you're giving now in that you don't give any space in between them okay the first one you just make it together okay from the second one you just give some space and let's say like they have created one text alignment color white huh? so this h1 they have created so you can take this one okay and then you can give here okay so whatever changes that you have given they have given that you can also give and then you can try it out okay now this h1 is there so this h1 you can use in your application okay so in here let's say if we have any header or we don't have any heading so if you let's say one head is there or one okay so SLDS box is there so this you can remove and you can put one whatever style so whatever style they have given that you the style that you can create and then when you go ahead and refresh that change will be reflected here whatever font size and font color that they have done that will reflect here also okay so text color is white only that is why it's not showing okay so all these things like background is there border is there margin is there okay so like margins borders all these things that that you have to create now if you try it yourself then you have to do all this like all the CSS changes you have to create but if you use SLDS or if you use the lightning to that system this is already created for you you just use the class name that is it okay 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 so so you got the idea how to use this hmm. okay Code oh, okay, okay. Like now we have any sort of code button. Uh -huh. That's what I was trying. Mm -hmm. Okay, that will not work. Okay. Okay, okay. So I think that should be fine for today. Okay, you can just try this everything in the SLDS. Okay.
okay and try to see if you find any problem then you can let me know okay and then from tomorrow we'll <coughs> explore the lightning this namespace okay so this namespace is lot of features like lot of buttons and input text all that things we'll try to create here and we'll see okay once we are done with that then we'll jump into apex okay you remember about apex and all na yeah, I have idea. basic idea about basic apex idea. okay i'll give you a brief introduction about apex okay okay so in apex usually what you do is you create a class okay So first thing to write any code or to write any 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 functions or anything first you have to create one class Okay, so inside this class you have to create one methods Okay, so inside the class you have two types of things so one is the state of the class and one is the behavior of the class Okay, so state is the variables that you have so variables will specify what what is the state of that particular class that means what is the value currently okay but behavior is something which will which will specify how that particular class will behave if you interact with that let's say if you call one of the method then how that particular class will behave okay so that behavior is specified in the methods so state are nothing but state are variables okay and behavior is methods okay so methods are called as behaviors so <coughs> so in the class how to use the class you have something called static and you have something called non-static okay so if you create some stat you know about static non-static little bit idea okay so static and non-static okay so usually if you don't want to create any object of the class then just make that class as static only or make some methods as static so you can just call that particular method and whenever you call it automatically using the class name you can call it you don't have to create an instance of that particular class to use that object okay so the structure of the class will be like you just use a keyword class and then give the class name so you give one class name and then you open bracket close bracket okay inside this whatever you write that will be inside the class okay so on the top section mostly we'll have some variables so in the variables you have two types uh, two uh, two parts one is the name of the variable and one is the what you call the data type so there are the predefined data types that you can use and you can also use the user defined data types okay so predefined data types will be like integer float boolean string all those things are predefined data types okay so you can put some string okay so data type that you have given and then you give the name of the variable let's say str or maybe let's name if that is not a keyword then you can use it as a variable name okay and then here you can give whatever is the name let's say test test st or something that you have given okay then you give one bracket okay okay so now you have declared one this is a non-static variable that means it's an instance variable to use this variable you have to use you have to create one object okay so if you don't want to do that then you can call it as static if you so for static variables you can use using the class name okay okay now just like that if you want to create some methods so let's say uh, you can give static you can create one static method only so static method you can call using the class name only you don't have to create object for that okay so just use the class name dot whatever the name of the method then you can give so you can give something like you, if you want you can make it as public also so let's say public static it will not return anything void and then you can you know about void and return types you know yeah okay so public static void and then you give the name of the method let's say uh, demo method something okay and then you give the signature inside the this method whatever code you want to write let's say you want to display something so you can do system dot debug okay and then you can write something here and that will be displayed okay let's say test demo or something okay so whenever this method is called it will be displaying this so this that is the behavior of this method okay this is how it is going to behave okay so inside this you can write soql also using the soql query you can retrieve some data and then it will return the data so for that you have to change the return type as instead of void you can change it to account if it is returning a list of accounts then you have to return something like this or if you want you can create a list of account also so you can put this inside this bracket and here you can create one list okay so a list of accounts so that means you have to necessarily put one return statement with returning as account list 
okay if you not do then it will give you syntax error first then runtime error will be anyways there because this method is supposed to return a value because you are giving a return tables list okay so that is one thing okay now this is how this is called the behavior that means this is how the method is going to behave okay and this is called the state that means this is the um, this is the state at this point because the variable is containing this particular value so if you change this value then its state is changing so that is why it is called state okay okay so using these methods only we will be we will be using or we will be interacting with the database okay inside this we'll be i am putting some sql query and then we'll be trying to achieve the functionality okay 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 so in the methods as of now when once we'll start using it then we'll come to know okay okay so usually we will be calling that from the javascript here okay we cannot call the apex directly from our uh, component okay so inside this javascript uh, component is there javascript controller from here we will be calling our apex okay okay to interact with database you need apex because that is a server side controller so server side controller is the one which can interact with the server if you want to do any sql query or any kind of retrieving updating or deletion anything that you want to do any dml operation that in, you have to put inside the apex okay that you cannot put directly inside the javascript okay so for that we will be connecting this javascript uh, or methods to apex methods and using that apex method we will be achieving the functionality okay and the front end part we will be controlling using this javascript okay okay so even if i'll practicing or something if you come across any doubts or something you can let me know okay 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 so what else we can see today okay helper class and all helper methods we'll see later okay as of now okay so let's check out some what time is it actually the phone switched off what is the time Seven twenty. Okay, okay. We started at what six thirty, na? Okay. theory part um, creating components that we have already seen okay let's check it out create lightning component development component markups component bundles that we have seen component id html inside the component we have seen css we have seen then component attributes we have seen okay we said attribute. Oh, so attribute we have seen we'll we'll use this attribute in every component so we'll be actually more, okay then component component composition is like inside the component you can put another components also okay nested, nested components. components you can create that uh, from here also like inside this if you want to put another component i think you have already done that uh, so like this lightning is there now or maybe in this application uh, in this application you have one practice mm -hmm. So this thing you can just put here also inside this component anywhere wherever you want so wherever it should be inside this aura component okay so if you put it inside here then that practice will come inside okay okay so that practice whatever practice part that you have the uh, that app, that component that you have created that will come inside here okay okay Okay, composition root tag. Okay, every component is the body attribute from the okay. These are the fine. Using expressions, using expressions is that those that uh, JavaScript that uh, C dot and V dot. Okay, so if you have to use the attribute somewhere, let's say you have one attribute here. Do we have any attribute? We have attribute uh, this attribute name now. So that if you want to use, then you have to use V dot. 
so if you want to display that attribute somewhere let's say if you want to display that attribute you have already used it so just like that we have it here so instead of c we have to use v v means view view that means that the component okay okay and we can get that inside the javascript also okay so using get set methods that we'll see okay so if you want to get that component here that also you can do let's say you can just see using this this component what this component parameter will do so all the all the things that are there in the component okay in that component you can get hold using this component parameter so whenever the javascript method is being called that component ka instance one copy of that component is getting passed to this method so that is how we are able to grab that attribute okay because that attribute is where it is inside this component okay so whenever because these this component cmp and this javascript both are auto wired that means they are connected together okay so whenever you call this javascript uh, function so automatically one component is passed if you don't put this then the component will not be passed okay so that that is why we have that component so one instance of that component is getting passed in the parameter so using this component we can get we can set we can change the values okay so all that thing we can do use on the attribute so whatever components we and there are inside this javascript uh, so lightning component that we can get hold using this component file this is not a fixed thing that you have to write component only you can write cmp also or whatever you want <coughs> okay so just the first parameter will be passed as a component okay you can write cmp also no problem okay and event is like interaction that we'll see and using this helper parameter only we'll be calling the helper class okay because all these thing, things are auto wired na so whenever you this helper that means our javascript functions helper is also being passed here okay so using this helper part we can call this helper method okay. so you can we can remove this we can remove this it will still work fine ha huh, we are referring only components you can remove this it will still work fine okay so as of now if we are not using event or helper if you want to increase the performance then you can remove it no problem okay okay so that about expressions and then labels that we will see later localization accessibility all these things we can see okay uh in this what all things we have button labels audio messages form fields label you can see it okay using lightning component lightning experience okay 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 i think that should be fine for today okay so as of now what you do is just you try out all the javascript things and you try out all the css things okay and then you try it inside the lightning don't try it here okay inside the lightning only try it and try to execute it and if you have any problems then we'll come back okay 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 once you have the hands on of this then quickly we can use it inside our components also okay Okay. See, the actual work will come when we are trying to use the Apex class because as of now everything is static. We have never even contacted the database yet. Okay, so once the Apex will come into picture, only then the real thing, the real component development will come. Okay, as of now this is just to show you the introduction kind of thing. Okay. Okay. As of now, you have any doubts, any questions? Ha. Ha. SLDS, you try. Okay. All those things you try, and then you'll. Hmm. That you can do. Okay. And you come across any doubts or any questions, we can see in the next class. Okay. Okay. So this is, I think, saved in your. This is your org only. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'll just. <coughs>